Hello out there to you. In this video, we're going to talk about the budget. Well, we, I, I'm going to talk about the budget equation, uh, what it means, how you can think about it, how you can solve for income or number of units that we purchase. So the budget equation is this. You want to write this out. It's the income or at least the amount of the income that has been budgeted to buy two different types of goods. We've got good X and good Y. They could be goods, they could be services, they could be potatoes, they could be lobsters. It doesn't really matter what they are. We're just solving for uh, how the consumer could use their budget and their income to buy this combination of goods. So we either need to know how many goods they bought uh, and the income, or we need to know what the prices were and how many they bought. We can figure out the income. We'll do a problem like that or some version of that. But basically you can graph these uh, combinations, this combination of this and this on something called a consumption frontier, sometimes called a budget line, actually more, more commonly called a budget line. This is the combination of this formula. Now, all of those possible purchases, that's known as the budget set, just the set of choices that a consumer could make using uh, this, particular income. So you might run into something where you've got, you know the prices, we're looking at the budget line and we want to solve for income. So we'll, we'll just write out the formula again. So this would be the price of good Y times the number of units of good Y plus the price of good X times the number of units of good X. Uh, and so we actually know a good bit of this information. We don't know income, so we're going to solve for this. Uh, we're told that the price of good Y is 2, so we're going to put a 2 there. Uh, we know that reading this, we bought 8 units uh, of, when the, uh, of this good Y. Then over here, um, price of good X is 4, but on this particular point on the budget line, we didn't buy any units of that, so that would be 0. So it'd be 2 times 8 plus 4 times 0, which is 16. So that's actually the income in this particular question. You could do this another way. You could say, well, what if I don't want to think about good Y? I just want to think about good X. Well, then that would be 2 times 0. We could solve using this point right here. Uh, plus 4. So that's the price of good X times four, and we still get 16. Okay, now let's use uh, this income to figure out if this is correct. So we know that the income is 16. We know that the price of uh, good Y is two, and we're gonna buy four units. And then right here, we know that the price of good X is four. I'm going to multiply that by the number of units of good X I'm buying. That's two. So this is eight. This is eight. That equals 16. That, that equals a line on that uh, budget or a point on that budget line rather. Sorry. Um, and then again, all of these points together uh, make up the budget set given that level of income. You could also be given uh, just some information. Like if it said uh, the income level is 32, and it said the price of good Y is 8, and the price of good X is 2. Uh, you could say, like, write the budget line or the budget equation. Well, that would be 32 equals the price of good Y times the number of units of good Y I bought plus the price of good X times the units of good X. So now I've written out this. And what I could do is, is just plug in, uh, like say if I bought zero units of this, how many units of good Y I could solve for Y. Then I could do one unit of good X and solve for Y, two units of good X, solve for Y, three units of good X, so on and so forth. And then that would give me another uh, budget line and, and it would all of those possible combinations would give me that budget set.